guys, how is everyone doing? In today's video, I have come to talk to you a little bit about protein for your snails. Now, protein is good for your snails for optimal shell growth. We're, combined with calcium is the main thing they're going to need to get a really nice healthy shell. You can give protein to your snails in many different ways. Uh, some people choose fish flakes which are soaked in water. You can use raw eggs, minced meat, just to name a few. Uh, there are many other ways but also snail mixes which I find the easiest and it sounds the most nicest to me. I normally get my snail mixes from Vixa Snail Mixes on Facebook but as of recent she's taken a little bit of a break for personal reasons so I found that out when I wasn't able to contact her and so I looked elsewhere just for the time being to get some snail mix for my giant African land snails. So another very highly recommended place from some of the snail groups on Facebook was Snail Pets on Etsy. So I ordered some snail mix. It came in this gorgeous looking little parcel. I got two different flavours for the snails. One being Tutti Fruity and the other, sounds a little festive but sounding very interesting to me, is Candy Cane. These are really well priced. Um, I think the Tutti Fruity was about £2 and the Candy Cane at £2.50 for 100 grams of each. You can make things like this yourself from home. Um, I'm not a whiz in the kitchen. I know it's not going to take any kind of cooking or anything like that. It'll just be blending up ingredients. But that to me is just waiting for disaster. If something will go wrong, I know it. I'm terrible. So I'd rather leave it to the pros. And I know Jade from Jade's Jungle, um, she made her own version on her channel as well. So go and have a look if you want to be able to make your own. I might try it one day, but for now, I'm gonna stick with these. So as I've never ordered from Snail Pets on Etsy before, I'm just gonna read through some of the ingredients so we know what's in each of the different mixes that I've got. So, um, Snail Pets, it says, all ingredients are either grown and dried in-house or ethically sourced. And the Tutti Fruity mix, says in the description a complete dried protein source to mix with warm water for your snails can be fed twice weekly. The mix itself has part of our basic mix in it which I'll have a look at in a moment. It also has blueberry powder, raspberry powder, chia seeds if that's how you say it and niger seeds. So that's for the tutti frutti mix and then the candy cane. Let's just find it. Also includes the basic snail mix recipe with dried organic mint, bee pollen and strawberry powder. Now let's see what the basic mix is. Let's see what it consists of. So it says the description of the basic mix is a homemade organic snail mix, excellent source of protein that can be fed twice weekly along with fresh foods. Uh, this particular mix has been tried, tested and tweaked over time they feed it to their own collection of giant African land snails. They absolutely love it. And the protein percentage is kept around the recommended 20%. Lovely. So what's in it? Pond sticks, mealworms, fish flakes, sunflower seeds, blood worms, chia seeds, niger seeds, hemp seed, pumpkin seeds, herbs, dried flowers, dried bugs, fruit and veg. All sounds really good. They also have on their Etsy shop... Um, other different flavours you can choose from. These are just two that I chose. All very well priced as well. They also do little bundles of 100 gram bags. It says four times 100 gram bags for £8. Should have gone for that. But you know, I got what I wanted. So if you have your own snails and you're looking for something like this, I, I recommend checking out Snail Pets on Etsy. Had a very pleasant time ordering and everything came well and as it should do but all we've got to do now is try out the mixes with the snails so what shall we go for 
tutti frutti or a candy cane? That is the question. I'm gonna have a little. Oh, candy cane smells really nice, actually. Tutti frutti also smells rather nice, but I think the smell of the candy cane one wins it for me. We're gonna try that one out with the snails today. On one of the packets, she has also included a uh, little bit of instructions of how to use the mix as well which is the same as what I get from when I order with Vixen Snail Mixes they give you a little leaflet so yeah it says mix a teaspoon of dry mix per adult snail with warm water and leave until fully swollen and a porridge like consistency it usually takes two to three minutes and can be fed twice weekly as a protein source so that's exactly how I would usually make up my one from Vixen snail mixes. So I'm going to show you how it's done. We're going to try the snails with a mix and see how they go. I like to empty my snail mixes into a little tub. I keep them all stored away in these. So I'm going to pop some in there. Can I fit the whole bag in? I hope so. I just find them easier to store away and use in the future. I use a plant pot dish to put the mix in for the snails. I use my little scoop that I got given with my mixes from Vix's Snail Mixes and I plop them in. I moisten it down with water and mix it in to make a little paste. I give it a few minutes just to let all that water soak into it. Uh, you don't want it too dry because it can swell up in inside your snail and it won't be very good for them so we'll let that soak in just a moment and then we'll get the snail and see how they feel about it It's a winner so I may purchase some more in the future I will not leave out Vixen Snail Mixes she's always been lovely to purchase from so I'll leave the link for both the places um, in the description if you guys need any for yourself but I hope you enjoyed today's video I did I love my snails I love showing you guys them uh, so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye